Welcome to a tutorial video on using Bootstrap. In this video, I'm going to talk about borders and colors. Now, when we're working with web development, CSS gives us the ability to write our own styles. We can apply different things like border rules, different colors, font sizes, and other things. However, when we're working with Bootstrap, it provides a number of different border classes and color classes that allow us to more quickly get started with our code and to use these to either prototype or set up everything we want and then later, coming back to it, we can customize those classes. So we need to realize then that there are existing border classes and color classes that can help us when we're using Bootstrap. When we're talking about borders, those classes come in two different categories additive and subtractive. Let's look at some examples here. Coming down here starting at line 15, I have a section on additive classes using the border class within Bootstrap. In these, these cases, the borders are added. These are part of the additive category. That is, when we use them, notice right here, border, it gives it a full border. So the border is added to everything. Right here, border top adds a border top border right, right here, adds a border to the right, border bottom, and border left, even though it says border at the bottom. So in all of these cases for the additive, we are using the class border hyphen, and then the name we want to add to, that side, top, right, bottom, and left. In all five of these examples, we notice at borders are being added to the element. So we can use these classes border, and then border hyphen in the side, to then add to border on a certain side we want. These are the additive category within Bootstrap using borders. Coming down here underneath that, we see the subtractive category. These work like additive, but the reverse. That is, they take away a border on a certain side. Notice in these cases, I've started with border, which is additive. So added all of the borders, and then use a hyphen and then zero for the side. So in this case, border, add all the borders, then border hyphen zero, remove all of the borders. And notice in this case, it doesn't have any. Although it's a little confusing, notice all of the other borders around it, but it doesn't have any borders. So we can combine then additive classes with subtractive classes to only subtract the certain sides we don't need. So notice here we're adding borders and then using border zero to then remove the sides we don't want. In this case, all of them. So it's not particularly useful to use border additive and then border hyphen zero to take away the borders we just added, but this is an example of how to do that. Notice underneath this we see full border minus top. Again, using additive to start, border to everything, then border hyphen top hyphen zero to only remove the top border. The same thing with hyphen right, hyphen bottom, and hyphen left. In all these cases, we're using the subtractive class to take away a border side we don't necessarily want. So we can use additive border classes to add borders and then use subtractive border classes to remove a certain side we don't want. In both cases, using the built-in classes in Bootstrap to very quickly add or subtract borders instead of working with CSS ourselves. And again, we could come back and customize this later if we wanted to write our own CSS rules. But to very, very quickly get started or to just quickly organize, Bootstrap provides us some border classes, additive and subtractive. Let's talk about some built-in colors. So as I mentioned, with CSS, we can add in whatever colors we want. We can to find them in a number of different ways and use them in a variety of contexts. But Bootstrap comes with a number of built-in cl color classes that very quickly allow us to use them as we're either prototyping or designing our site. Again, we could come back and customize them later, but it gives us a starting point, an initial set of colors to help us when we're either thinking about accessibility or to design and layout of our own websites. So I'm going to scroll down here to color examples. And over here you'll notice on the right, color examples and text color. So a number of different ways of approaching text color to start. Notice these all right here. And there's a large number of them to provide different contexts, different colors, as well as to start us thinking about accessibility concerns within web design. Notice right here, similar to how we were using borders and hyphens to define the subcategory of that. For example, we were using border hyphen right to give a right border or border hyphen right hyphen zero to use subtractive. Notice it's text hyphen and then the color. 
In these cases, they're actually categories that describe the context in which they're used in. This can be a little bit confusing, but this is how Bootstrap approaches using these colors. Notice it says primary, and over here it's a shade of blue. Secondary is a shade of gray. We see green, red, yellow, and then a lighter shade of blue. And so some of these right here, you notice, could be used in ways to give more information to users. In these cases, if we wanted to pass on information to users, particularly, for example, if it was primary, that is, it wasn't particularly important, or if it was dangerous, we could use red text to signal that to users. So we start to think about, as we approach color examples, accessibility in mind. We want to be able to give the user information very quickly through how we're designing the color context of the text. So we can use these text color classes to start to do that. Notice we have text primary, text secondary, text success, through down here text white 50, down here it's a 50% gradient, or 50% transparency, and as well as background dark. So we can use these text colors to start to think about combining them in different ways to approach accessibility as well as help our own design. So we can color text as well as the background of different elements. And you'll notice these right underneath that, background color classes. The background color classes, similar to the text color classes, have their own prefix. When we're working with text, it was text hyphen and then the name of that category corresponding to that text color. In these cases, we're using BG for background and then a hyphen and then its own name for the background color. So we see here BG hyphen primary for background primary color. And on top of that, we can combine them with text colors. So this allows us even greater fix flexibility. We use the built-in background colors within Bootstrap and then use the built-in text colors in Bootstrap to combine to an even greater ability to use these color classes together in a more variety. And again, of course, because they're defined within CSS, we can customize them to our own heart's content. But in getting started, we can use these to very quickly convey information to users. Notice right here with text white and background primary, we see what could be an information area. Same with secondary, success, danger, warning, info, light, dark, white. All of these could be used in different contexts to convey information through their colors to the user to help them understand some context or something that's going on. And in fact, you'll realize that this is bootstrap because it's so common across different web development platforms and websites and usage, that these are actually a very common approach. For example, if we wanted to convey a danger warning message, we might use a red background or red text. These are very common practices within web development. And so Bootstrap helps us, helps us to start thinking within those contexts. We can use text hyphen in the name of the color class or BG hyphen in the name of its color class to use text colors and background colors. Finally, we can combine both borders and colors together. Notice down here, finally, we have borders and colors. And that's what's hidden down here at the very bottom, over here on the right-hand side. We can combine these together. Notice we're using first additive classes, we're adding a borders, and then we're defining it within the same category. And in fact, these are universal across Bootstrap. The categories primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, info, light, and dark are existing across all color classes that use these. We can use them with borders, we can use them with backgrounds, we can use them as text, and they appear in other contexts. So Bootstrap has gone through the process of labeling these across the entire framework. So we can make all of these same across everything. And then if we wanted to, we could override them, of course, with our own CSS rules. But to start, we have our own existing framework that helps us very quickly unify our color schemes and initially start thinking about the layout when using Bootstrap. So again, coming back to borders, we have the initial additive, we're adding a full border, and then the color is border hyphen primary. So additive borders, adding a full border, and then the color after that, border secondary, border success. And we see those down here. Well, they follow the exact same pattern we've established in text and background color schemes. So we can use borders and colors together following the pattern established as part of the color categories in Bootstrap. We have our text colors, our background colors, and our border colors, and they all match the same category and all help us unify our color scheme in our website. 
So in this video, I've covered borders and colors within Bootstrap. As we started to talk about with borders, there are both additive and subtractive classes. Additive classes add a border to an element, and we can define them using border hyphen and its name, or border for the full thing. So when we're using additive classes, we're adding borders. When we're working with subtractive classes, we're subtracting a border from a certain side, usually after we've used an additive class first. In these examples, we saw we used border to define a full border around an element. We added it, and then we subtracted it using one of the subtractive classes. So we saw in this example, for example, for this example right here, where we did a full border established using additive, a full border around the element, and then border hyphen top hyphen zero to then subtract the, the side top we didn't want within that. When we looked at color examples, we saw there are a number of built-in color categories to help us very quickly work with stuff within Bootstrap. And I reviewed some of these, primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, info, light, dark. And it helps us to start to think about accessibility concerns as well as conveying information through using color. And as I described with using borders, we define here text hyphen and then its name to do the text color and BG for background, BG color or BG and then the color name to define the background color. And then as we saw right here, similar to when we're using borders, we can define background colors and text colors together to help us convey even more information through using color schemes. Finally, we can use borders and colors together. Using the same color scheme, which is universal across Bootstrap, we saw we could use added borders and then the name of the border color, border hyphen primary, border hyphen secondary, border hyphen success as these three examples. So we can combine borders and colors together. Thanks for watching.